Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie. I'm a data scientist currently working at a logistics tech startup in Canada. Today I'm taking you on a day in the life with me working at our new office in downtown Toronto. It is now 8.15 a.m. and I'm packing my bag for the day. Usually when I go to the office, I like to pack light, just my laptop and a water bottle. I also like to bring my iPad for note taking and a snack bar that's packed with protein. I got my watch and let's go. I live in downtown Toronto and I'm grateful every single day that my office is just a 12 minutes walk away from my apartment. People say there are two seasons in Toronto, there's winter and then there's construction season. I'm pretty sure I passed by 10 cranes just on my walk to the office. Today is a Monday, so usually nobody else is in the office. The office smelled a bit off because all the windows and doors were closed over the weekend, so my first task was to open all the windows, blinds, and let the light come in. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I start the very first thing of my workday learning on Coursera. Data science is a field that requires lifelong learning and staying curious is perhaps one of the most important traits to keep up with ever-changing technologies. My manager encourages everyone on the team to take one hour a day to take courses or read research papers and count this brain fitness time. And if you have a hard time finding time in the day to finish your courses like me, I find it really helpful to do this the very first thing in the morning before anything else, because something will definitely come up later in the day and get in the way of getting it done. I am currently taking the deep learning specialization by Andrew. I've gotten questions about whether this is a good course to take and whether you should be taking this course as well. I personally have really enjoyed this specialization and I'm on course 2 out of 5. I've gained interest in deep learning and was fascinated specifically by the autonomous mapping applications and NLP use cases. I would highly recommend this course if you have a genuine interest in deep learning, but if you're just looking for courses in machine learning in general, deeplearning.ai also has a machine learning specialization, or there are many other ML courses out there that potentially might be a better fit. I've also gotten questions on my iPad. I use my iPad to take notes. I've had this one since I was in university, and it's just really nice to have all my notes together in one place. I share the notes that I take from this class with those who are interested in my newsletter. You can sign up in my bio on Instagram at Maggie and Data. Once I was done learning on Coursera, I went to check out the newest coffee machine that I have been very excited about. My team used to rent out a space at WeWork, but the company recently leased out this new office space for us and set up snack bars and had that coffee machine delivered over the weekend. My work is technically hybrid and we don't have to go into the office unless we have meetings or collaboration works because they're just easier to be done in person. But today I want to show you guys around and I'm just really here to try out the coffee. And I do find myself more productive some days with a change of environment. It took me a while to figure out which one I wanted to drink and figure out how it works, but I eventually got it and it's pretty good. My first meeting in the day is at 10 a.m. This is the team stand-up meeting that we have every single day. The goal of this meeting is to keep everyone informed on what each other on the team is working on. And if there are any blockers, we can get timely help from others. After my check-in, I had a solid hour and a half of head down coding time. I think it's so important to have chunks of your day blocked off from meetings and just actually be productive and get work done. For this hour and a half, I was working on improving a small algorithm change for a POC tool that I helped building a few months back. I really enjoyed this work because it involved changing the route between two points on the map from Euclidean to portraying the actual routes taken. 
And for those of you who don't know, I double majored in human geography and statistics in my undergrad studies, and I get really, really excited about anything geospatial and mapping. I still have a very busy agenda for the rest of the day, so for lunch, I'm just walking a minute across the street to this takeout place that sells healthy and delicious bowls. Since it was just myself today at the office and the weather was really nice, I decided to enjoy my lunch on the roof. I wanted to watch some YouTube videos while I ate, but the Wi-Fi didn't work on the roof that day, so I ended up just enjoying the construction views. After lunch, I headed back down to the office and of course I got some more coffee and grabbed a tube of M&M's to snack on. One of my colleagues reached out to me on Teams for some help with code review and pipeline evaluation, so I hopped on a quick meeting with her to remove any bloggers that she had and provided feedbacks on her approach. They gave us a sample for how the tables connect together. I remember when I was an intern back in school, I always hated to bother people and ask them questions because I felt like I was taking away other people's valuable time and I was scared to ask quote unquote dumb questions. And now thinking back, it was just really silly. Please, please, please do reach out to your colleagues, especially when you're an intern because you're there to learn and nobody expects you to know everything. I also find that when I run into problems, all I need sometimes is a fresh pair of eyes. I probably could have figured out by myself in most cases, but asking for help can help solving them so much faster and also foster a healthy teamwork environment. If you're somewhat familiar with tech, you probably have heard of the saying, in a startup, you wear multiple hats. And to some degree, that's true. I work in the research team of my company. It's a relatively small team. We have three data scientists, two research scientists, and one technical product manager. We always have multiple projects going on within the team and often competing priorities. It is so important that we communicate well both to each other and to other teams from within the company that we work with, such as engineering and product. Since we moved into this new office, my manager started a new initiative to have an in real life Jira board to keep track of our tasks. For some reason, it is just so much better to have tangible sticky notes that can be moved around instead of a digital board on Jira. Right now, I have a big pillar of tasks involving data lake that can be further divided into four individual projects. Today, I took the time to populate this wall. I color coded each of the projects I was overseeing and filled in specific tasks in each of the following columns to do, in progress, in review, done, and blocked. By doing this activity, I had a clear view of what still needs to be done for each project and how I can prioritize. I also actually really like the way this wall turned out. And for the final task of the day, I had another few hours to put my head down and get some coding work done. Because it was a bit later in the day, I was feeling more tired. I used the Pomodoro technique to keep myself distraction free. If you're not familiar, the Pomodoro Technique is a time management system that encourages people to work with the time that they have. Using this method, you break your workday into 25 minute chunks separated by five minute breaks. 
I sometimes find the 25 minutes chunk to be too short and actually cut me off in the middle of a focus session. So I like to do 50 minutes or an hour of focus time at once. For this afternoon's focus session, I set up a Jupyter Notebook pipeline that would automate the exploratory data analysis process. It was mainly a performance assessment to reduce cost for the company. It is time to go home. I picked up my boyfriend today on my way home because he actually works just across the street from me and if timing allows like today, we like to walk home together. <laughs> what is that? Oh, you're going to the... We always open the door with caution when we get home because my cat Mocha likes to be at the door waiting as soon as she hears the keys jiggling in the hallway. This brown tabby is Mocha and the orange one is named Romeo. We foster cats from the Topical Humane Society, providing them a temporary loving home. Romeo is actually going to his forever home in a few days. He has been with us for three months and I'm going to miss him so, so much. But I'm happy he's going to a sweet loving home that really can't be any more perfect for him. I'm just very happy for this guy, but he will be missed. activities vary a lot by the day. Some days I'm playing tennis with colleagues or friends, occasionally I'll make it to the gym. Other days I eat out with friends or do activities with friends together. And for days like today when I just felt extra lazy, I laid on the couch and did some content planning. I have also been obsessed with those YouTube videos lately that I can just put in the background. It usually has an animated cool graphic that provides a super cute vibe with relaxing jazz music. This is a day in the life with me guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video and want to watch more videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up and come follow me on Instagram where I share daily data science content.